Well, <clears throat> this is the first for a retro Steam Tech. This is a Chinese hit and miss engine, and this is my first hit and miss engine. Um, this was uh, bought from Banggood, and I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and it's a truly lovely piece of engineering. I mean, it's it's really, really well made and really, really well machined. Um, these look like aluminium castings, which have been anodized. Um, the flywheels appear to be um, machined aluminium castings with steel tires. Um, and all of the brass work is just superb. I mean, it really is. It's just, it's just amazing. I mean, you know, the quality of this is fantastic. Um, this literally arrived today. Uh, it comes with a fuel tank, which is this little matey here. The buzz box, which provides uh, the HT for the spark plug. Um, you get a little bag of spare parts, which is pretty amazing, really. I mean, there's a, there's a spare um, Hall Effect sensor in there and um, you've got the spark plug, spare nuts and bolts, and uh, also there's a fuel tube and various cables. So that, that's, that's quite good. The one thing you don't get is the, the buzz box here requires um, 3.7 to four and a half volts to provide the spark. Um, so obviously you need to provide a, a battery holder with say three double A's in to, to, pro to provide the power for that. Um, the flywheels extend below the level of the base, so you, I'm going to have to produce a base to mount this off on to raise it up, which is why it's stood on this piece of wood here. Um, but um, no, it's just it's just an amazing bit of kit. If we just uh, we'll just sort of zoom in on the uh, uh, on the front end here, so you can have a look. It's just it's just extremely well machined. The whole thing is just is just very very well done. Um, it is just amazing. Uh, we'll also have a look at the um, the gearing because that's well worth a close up look. Um, I'm not sure how to best get at that actually. Let's take the fuel tank out of the way. Um, yeah, let's have a look that way I think. But uh, it is extremely well machined piece of kit. As you can see, uh, and it's just it's just lovely. It really is. I can't wait to get this going. But I say I've got a bit of work to do. Um, I need to say build a base for it, uh, a box to put this buzz box in, and the appropriate battery compartment, preferably a switch. Also, the the um, fuel tank needs to be mounted. Um, I mean, ideally the. Uh, um, the fuel feed it, it it goes in here, so this this ideally needs to be mounted somewhere like this, or maybe over here. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 a lovely lovely bit of kit. So um, can't wait to get this one running. Well, here we are back with the hit and miss engine, and this is the fruits of yesterday's labour. Uh, we have a box now to mount the electrics in. Um, there'll be a switch and an LED on the top. Um, this is the um, mount I've made for the um, fuel tank, and the fuel tank will simply go in like that. Uh, I haven't actually worked out quite how I'm going to mount this to the main baseboard here, um, but um, I'll do that once the rest is assembled. This is the mounting block um, for the actual hit and miss engine. Um, and the whole lot's been treated in um, with uh, finishing oil, which is um, does uh, produce a nice effect on the wood, and of course it protects it as well. Uh, but it is a bit of a long-winded process. So um, hopefully we can get it all assembled today, um, and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, just a little bit of a. Bit of information here for anyone who is considering purchasing this engine. As I said, it doesn't actually come with any instructions. And um, you need to add an extra lead, which obviously you're not told about because there are no instructions. Basically, as you can see, there is I've connected a lead from the uh, chassis of the actual engine. And it runs through here, through the box, and it's connected to the case of the buzz box. Now, this is very important that you do this because uh, basically without this the engine won't run so i just thought that for anyone else who is uh, interested in buying one of these uh, you really need to know about this 
Okay, well, here's the finished article all together. Um, I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out. Um, I made a little wooden box. Uh, this was an old breadboard, which I'd used to mount um, uh, another steam engine on many, many years ago and obviously taken it off. A um, couple of wooden uh, blocks to actually mount the engine on, some scrap wood to uh, make the fuel tank mount on. Um, I couldn't find any way uh, of actually connecting the HT lead to the spark plug. So what I did was I've made a little tiny spark plug cap out of a bit of brass rod, drilled some holes in it, tapped them. So that seems to seems to be on there okay. We'll find out whether it works or not when we come to try and run it. Um, but yeah, it's it's it's. I think it's turned out turned out quite well. Um, I was quite surprised that there was wasn't any instructions with this at all. Now, okay, it's a hit and miss engine. It's not rocket science. They're fairly straightforward. But um, you know, if you were buying this and you really didn't know an awful lot about them, then um, you know, the little basic instructions. Uh, I need it, it, and unless you uh, actually go and delve into the uh, listing on the Banggood site, you wouldn't even know what voltage uh, the the buzz box is supposed to be run from. So. Uh, but uh, no, hopefully this is uh, this is all now ready to go. So let's see if we can get it to run.